So what's up everybody? This is gonna be a video about Lucius and possibly him selling his humanity to become Ostaroff in a way. Also, I will be talking about the possible magic that Lucius has because we're not entirely sure what his magic is. Some people are saying it's transformation magic. Other people are saying that it's my magic. And honestly, it could be either one. It's a toss up. So let's get into this Black Clover theory. First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussion, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video, like, comment, I read the comments, switch hit moves to false copyright strikes. So let's get this channel back to 5,000. Watch out for the second channel. I focus on One Piece. Watch out for the Discord and Patreon. First of all, y'all, I just want to say sorry for not posting anything in a while. I've just been very tired. I actually had a family member that passed away. At the moment when my family member died, I just couldn't really understand what was going on. I couldn't process everything. After a while, it hit me and I was just burning out not having black clover weekly really affected me because it's like black clover helped me out a lot during some dark times whole lockdowns and everything getting black clover weekly just motivated me to not be sad and you know just continue with life and knowing that my family members gonna want me to be sad it's hard having this dry spell and black clover anyway let's get into the theory but yeah a lot of people are saying that lucius has mind magic he's gonna follow the pattern of the zakrati siblings how they all seem to have like some type of magic that has to do with the human body Veronica has human blood xenon had bones dante had flesh magic so with that being said it's only common sense that most likely lucius sagrati has something to do with the human body and most likely has to do with my magic and i think that still is the case i think that's very possible the reason why is because we're not entirely sure if julius was completely born i mean i know at the beginning of the story it was kind of referenced or mentioned that julius was of royal blood in the clover king so it makes me wonder like if he is royal blood was julius actually born a normal birth or was that Julius just somehow came into existence in the Clover Kingdom and just somehow got citizenship it just doesn't make sense right there because it's like how are you going to allow a foreigner to become the wizard king I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of pushback especially if people don't know who Julius is so there's a possibility that Lucius Agrati does have mind magic but it's not mind magic like people think it's more like mind magic that he goes into people's heads and basically just convinced them or places a memory in their head of himself either good or bad depending on how he feels obviously he's going to put himself in a favorable light so that he can infiltrate and basically become the wizard king but still something about that doesn't make sense because how is it that julius who everybody thought was this very important person that even the kira family which is the ruling royal family at this moment also the other royals and nobles never questioned julius Novokronos. i mean we don't know anybody that has the same last name as him so is julius born a normal human birth or is it just that he was basically an alter ego of Lucius. And I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that he's an alter ego of Lucius. The reason why I say that because Asrov, like I said this in many videos before, has two different forms. He has the goddess form, which is the good form, and he has the demon form. I know a lot of people are saying that Asrov is actually a good person. It's not true. Asrov has a good guy complex. There's a difference. He's not a good person. He wants to be shown as good, but he's not always as good as people say. He's part of the evil trinity for a reason. So his good guy complex kind of fits who Julius is because Julius, he's loved by the kingdom. The royals respect him. So a lot of people will tend to look at Julius at a favorite light. And that's what Ostroff with his good guy complex will like to have. However, if Lucius does have my magic, it will make sense as how Julius would just basically impose himself into the Clover Kingdom and made himself become the Wizard King. Because it's still kind of weird to me how Julius became the Wizard King. It wouldn't make sense if some form or somebody that hasn't had the documentations of being born in the Clover Kingdom will rise to the Wizard King. So the Wizard King, that title usually goes to people with noble blood to royal blood because we all know that they have the advantage in general than commoners and peasants because of that mono reserves gap. So it's definitely a possibility that Lucius has mind magic and he imposed himself into the Clover Kingdom, brainwashed people and put memories in people's heads to make them think that he was there from the beginning while that transformation magic that we see Lucius do when Julius turned into the old lady. I think that comes from Osiroff because like I said before he does have two transformations the goddess form and the demon form so it makes sense that Lucius who is possessed by Osiroff or somehow is Osiroff in the same will have that ability as a side effect. So I still think that Lucius transformation powers most likely comes from Osiroff it's just probably like a side ability that he can do. However it is a big possibility that Lucius does have transformation 
transformation magic and that'll be very interesting it is however how would lucius who has transformation magic impose himself into the clover king there's a possibility that if lucius has transformation magic that there was a julius he was born in royal blood and lucius took him out of the picture transformed himself into him and became him through time which ironically is the magic that Osteros has that's another possibility i could definitely see lucius just offing out the real julius and just him transforming and playing a character to fit in the clover kingdom and that Osteroth good guy complex probably got the best of him because like i said before Osteroth he does have that urge to want to be looked in a positive light even though he is part of the evil trinity so Osteroth in demonology is a very complex demon and that julius that we knew this whole entire time was really Osteroth trying to be a good person there's just questions when it comes to who julius is and another indicator that lucius might have mind magic is that when we saw xenon's memories we saw lucius in a wheelchair but now we see him standing up there's a possibility that lucius manipulated the mind of xenon and the Zagati siblings to think that lucius may have died something may have happened to him that got him out of the picture because for whatever reason the three Zagati siblings didn't really mention too much of their older brother it was just really xenon so there's a possibility that xenon who saw lucius in his mind only saw the manipulated memories of lucius that lucius wanted xenon to see so xenon saw an elder brother that was on the wheelchair that seems basically defenseless but in reality technically lucius should be the strongest of all the subgrounding siblings the memories put into xenon's head of him and we didn't get to see his face which obviously is because tabata didn't want to reveal who lucius was he didn't want to make it too obvious that it was julius to have a stronger effect once it's revealed however i think it has another meaning to it i think this indicator that xenon's memories were manipulated and that's manipulation of memories of going to people's head is probably what lucius magic is because it will fit that sagrati thing that we keep saying that their magic has to do with the human body because i don't see lucius having skin magic nail magic or hair magic it just wouldn't make sense to me at this point what we've seen of lucius is more pointing towards him having my magic and another thing i want to talk about is like the fact that we saw lucius on a wheelchair could either him being manipulating xenon's memories to make him seem like weak and defenseless and probably made it think that during the takeover of the Spay kingdom lucius agrati lost his life however i think there's a possibility that lucius really was on a wheelchair and i think the reason why lucius and osroff are the same at this moment not just that lucius is possessed by him i think is that lucius most likely gave up his humanity in a sense or his body to osroff so it's not like he became a devil just that osroff controls lucius i think lucius does have his own consciousness and everything but the person who takes control of lucius entirely is most likely osroff and i know people are going to have problems with that because in black clover lore if a devil takes over a human's body the human becomes like a monstrous being however i think somehow some way lucius might have given up his humanity in a sense in terms of his soul or his body per se to osroff to make osroff have control of what's going on that's a possibility or just somehow osroff controls his mind in a way because it seems like lucius and osroff have a stronger tie and a stronger connection than the other sagrati siblings obviously lucius is not a devil at this point but like i said before i think osroff has a second ability of transformation because through lore he has two forms so it could be that we saw lucius human form but lucius also has a devil form but we'll see what happens because lucius did say to xenon you're the most like me so when we saw xenon gave up his soul to get a devil heart so i wonder what lucius did and what he meant by that i hope to see what happens it'd be crazy if we saw xenon again in the afterworld and him being a soul the final arc is going to be epic i'm so excited for the final arc but yes that's basically all to say thank you so much for watching the video let me know what you think about this theory do you think that lucius has my magic or transformation magic do you think the transformation magic is just a second ability that osiroff has because osiroff is known to have two forms in demonology do you think julius is actually a real person or do you think that julius was just basically a made-up person that lucius and osiroff created do you think that we're going to have a moment where julius might end up having his own body and then the Julius we know ends up living on in the future instead of him just disappearing from the story after Lucius is destroyed. I'm sure if we find out that somehow Julius has to give up his life in order for Lucius and Ostrov to be defeated, I'm sure that's going to be a very emotional chapter and I would love to see that. Do you think that Lucius gave up his humanity to Ostrov similar to what Xenon did? What do you think Lucius meant when he said to Xenon, you're the most like me? Like if you liked the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here.